the vibrations of his footsteps or the heat of his body caught the attention of a 22-foot reticulated python. Did Juan startle the snake, triggering a defensive attack? Or was the python stalking Juan as a possible meal? Evidence at the scene suggests the giant snake struck Juan full force. Juan collapsed, unable to move. The snake slipped her coils around his chest and neck. With her victim dead, the python released Juan's leg and began moving towards his head for the swallow. Until Juan's fate took another turn. Photographic evidence of a man-eating snake. Police Sergeant Abu Sama is the man who took the photo. He was searching for Juan when he discovered the body. The python tried to escape, and Sama shot it dead. But Sama says the snake was trying to swallow Juan and making an unusual noise. The snake was sucking the victim in. The sound was like a snoring sound. It's like this. If Sergeant Sama hadn't arrived, would this snake have completed her grisly task? Any serpent going after human-sized prey would have to be 15 feet long or bigger. 30-foot reticulated pythons are the longest serpents on Earth. Anacondas are thicker and heavier. Both snakes are great swimmers. Retics are master tree climbers, capable of rising into the canopy and descending to the forest floor, performing a deadly strike. A snake that attacks giant prey would have to be fearless. Reticulated pythons are highly aggressive. To capture one, you need a team of experienced snake catchers. Scientist David Williams and a team of seven men from Malaysia's Zoo Nagara are trying to capture this 18-foot python. Wow, look at the size of that snake. Okay. Maria Munoz grabbed an 18-foot anaconda with her bare hands. But that won't work with reticulated pythons. Their aggressiveness may be what's protecting them from hungry predators like leopards and tigers. A snake hunting human-sized prey would have to be big and bold. But that's still just part of the package. Pythons have other powerful weapons cat-like eyes for nighttime hunting, deep heat-sensing pits for tracking animals and gauging distance, and diamond-patterned skin blending into the forest floor and the trees. Inside the python's mouth is the same deadly arsenal as the anaconda, 100 recurved teeth. These are just massive, curving back into the throat of the snake. So when it bites down and pulls back, you can't get out. Both serpents have the same powerful jaw muscles, perfect for clamping down onto giant prey. If the python was tracking him, Juan probably had no idea he was being stalked. Giant snakes have yet another deadly weapon in their arsenal. They're highly skilled ambush predators. 
who hunt and kill in silence. But what propels a 200-pound creature across the forest floor without making a sound? The drive shaft of a giant snake is a network of 15,000 muscles and scales working together. Approximately 20 sets of muscles are repeated along a snake's body. When the giant snake switches to attack mode, it downshifts these muscle groups into a caterpillar-like motion. Contractions pulse down the body from the head. Belly scales hook into the ground, pushing the serpent along with thousands of tiny abdominal crunches. It's rare to see these one to three inch belly scales up close. The tread that churns these serpents so these forward. Scales, this is what a snake walks on. And they have muscles linked to every individual belly scale. And they can literally walk on these by pulling these scales up and moving them forward independently of each other. The snake walks on four or five hundred small feet. Did the python's stealthy attack come from the trees? The dense brush? Or the trail? The photo yields no clues. But somewhere in this image is the secret to the ultimate mystery. Are giant snakes capable of swallowing human beings? One critical answer is in this photograph. We know giant snakes don't normally prey on human beings. They generally leave people well enough alone. But if a giant snake does kill an adult human, can he actually swallow one? Three new photographs offer clues to the limits of a giant snake's appetite. In Florida, a python has escaped into the Everglades and swallowed an alligator until it burst open, exposing the back half of the gator. Forensic evidence reveals the snake is 13 feet long and the alligator is six and a half feet long. This means the python targeted and killed an animal exactly half its length. A 20 to 30 foot snake should have no problem constricting human sized prey, or even larger. But can they swallow it? Remember the attack on Maria Munoz? The snake rising up, opening its mouth almost 180 degrees, revealing a mouthful of teeth and another hidden feature of giant snakes. This lower jaw is actually two separate parts, no chin. This ingenious design means these serpents can spread their jaws wider than their skull when swallowing prey. You can see these two jaw bones moving independently. There's an elastic ligament between the two jaws and they can use that ligament to be able to stretch the jaws apart. But there must be a maximum stretch. And are human-sized prey within range? How giant snakes actually swallow giant prey reveals the answer. Both anacondas and pythons rely on the same techniques swallowing head first. The mouth flaring out, working its way down the carcass. Moving from the top down, claws and horns won't slice the snake on their journey down the throat. The victim is now fully engulfed, triggering the next remarkable feature of giant snake engineering. A snake's windpipe is normally positioned deep in the throat. But when giant snakes swallow giant prey, the windpipe pushes up and out of the mouth. 
the snorkel-like tube breathing from outside. 